that strong. Hit the dance floor and back the week was putting on. Now you know, you know, you know what I'm on. Hey, you can get the issue. You can get the issue. Like an hourglass. Bacon like a pistol. Girl, you found baby sacred. Love how I dress with you. You remind me of my whip. Oh, and I want to ride. Move into my sound. Smoking and rapping. Hey, I'm trying to put it down. Girl, how you like it? I'm going to knock it out. Eat it like Tyson. Yeah. Betty can't do it like me. No, Betty can't do it like me. Hit it from the back when I'm playing with the cat. I'm smacking on that big old booty like me. Had a thing throbbing, get a thing a murk. Had a thing squirting and shooting like me. Automatic, two, two, three. I bet he can't do it like me. It's two way in. We all alone. You looking like them jeans. Got painted on. You know, you know, you know what I want. You know, you know, you know what I want. It's two way in. We all alone. You look like them jeans got painted on. You know, you know, you know what I want. You know, you know, you know what I want. You know what I'm on. Smoking the blunt, sipping on some Patron. Thick broad, dark skin, wearing leggings with a tong. I can do your body right. Bumping and grinding the kells and Trey songs. Bending you over. Hands touching your toes, might spend all night with you. Should have brought extra clothes. She know the drill when we in the room. Never had nothing on. Gripping her hips, make her bite her lips, singing tones. It's a chair in the bed that I can put you on. My pipe waiting for you to hop on. Cause girl, you know what I want. Pipe game very strong. We can go hella long. You know what I want. Uh. You know what I want You know what I want You know what I want Look at my jeans Got it painted on You know, you know You know what I want It's two way in We all alone You looking like them jeans Got it painted on You know, you know You know what I want You know, you know You know what I want It's two way in we all alone. You looking like them jeans? Got painted on. You know, you know, you know what I want. You know, you know, you know what I want. And that was what I want. You are listening to Fire Fridays. It's your girl A Breezy. So before the break, we was talking about relationships and how they are not how they used to be, boys. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> they aren't how they used to be. Like I was saying before the break, I mean, people need to take time to actually do things to make stuff work. That start with, you know, not being so so selfish towards each other. Be willing to communicate, compromise, and and really remember that the outside stuff ain't the relationship. Everybody caught up in these roles and what I can do and what I can't do and all this, I can do it for myself. Man, just play your role and love each other and just let it be. You know what I'm saying? Let it be good. Let it be what it is. And that's funny when you say outside stuff. Like, have you guys ever had a situation where somebody's like, it's not official unless it's Facebook official? Yes. Like, it, no matter what, like, you could be kicking it with somebody for however long, but, you know, until they put them on Facebook, it almost like it's not a real thing. Like, when did that start? Like, that makes no sense. I mean, mine says married, but it doesn't say to who. Oh. Then, then it's just it's that, that media. But, but still, like, media. you know, you're, you know you're married. You know, well, yeah. you, you know. I mean, I just, yeah. I, I just do it to do it, kind of. My thing was, is, like, not a lot of people knew we went and got married. So it was kind of like, oh, let's see how many people actually comment us. Be like, oh, snap. Wait, what? <laughs> like, what just happened? Because it for the shock yeah, and all. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't like, I mean. But it's not like you guys weren't acting like a married couple because you didn't put it on Facebook yeah. that you weren't no. married and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like some people, like, don't even act like they are in a relationship unless it is on Facebook. Like That, that as soon as it goes up on Facebook, then that's when they can go outside of the house and <laughs> hold hands. Yeah, and act like, yeah. Like, like it's official are. now. We're a real couple. Everybody knows now yeah. it's on Facebook. It's like everybody trying to live their life like it's a TV show or something. 
Well, that's what we were just talking about. You know, making it like that's pretty much what it is, though. Like to sum it up, it's like life is a TV show. Come look at me. Come see me. Come see the they new. They watch Real Housewives and they're the like, oh, we gotta do that. <laughs> yeah, we gotta be like that. Or I mean, the Kardashians the too. Oh, we see we see them, and you know. Yeah, we seen that instance with Tiger. You know. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we seen that whole <laughs> uncle, <laughs> the dad, the cousin, the cousin, where whatever son, that was. Your that whole son's cousin. yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's some of those shows that they're actually like real. Like it seems like, oh snap! Like you could relate to it, but then, but there's only like a couple of those. Dude, what about shows like Teen Mom? Like that show's been on forever. And but it's relatable though, because I mean, I mean, some of them, some of it is putting on a front for it, but then like most of it's like legitly like what really happens. They're not taking it to that, except for, like, Janelle. Janelle takes her party in and, and the drugs, like, wait. But, like, a lot of their issues are, like, you can be like, oh, snap. Yeah, I can relate to that. Oh, oh, that's how she dealt with that. But it almost makes you think, like, okay, maybe we have a big, giant problem in a whole, like, as America, yeah. as a society. You don't yeah. usually yeah. realize it until you see somebody else in it. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you write by saying that you can relate to it, but the, the view that I get is the fact that they just keep, going with it so then it's like it's on TV now it's acceptable to be a teen mom so I can get on TV but that was right. the, whole, the whole issue why they started it though you know what it I'm was it was I mean it was the whole learn from your mistakes don't be like us that's why they're putting it out like this like being a teen mom I mean the original teen moms aren't teen moms anymore but right. but that's why they put that show out there like look you guys I'm 13, 14 years old. Don't do what I did. That's why now, now the new team moms and stuff like that is not how it used it's to be. It's almost like glorifying the fact yeah. that you're struggling. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I'm 14 and my kids too. Yeah. That's because like, guys is too worried about getting that notch in their belt loop. You know what I'm saying? And and chicks is too busy trying to look a certain way, so they really don't care about having a kid or. That whole family aspect, giving your kids something to to look forward to in their life, and then it's just like, oh, I got a kid, okay, but you're still a kid, and your mom is raising your kid right. for you, and you like just south of a, a fifteen, like, and you bragging about it, like that's cool. not okay. That's not okay. You barely club legal, and your kid about to be double digits. Like, <laughs> no, that's not okay. It's like Maury and all that stuff. You are not the father. <laughs> but it is. I mean, I don't know. I, that's how I look at it. Like, relationships now are based off of TV and, like... Material like, I stuff. My, I don't want my relationship like that. It's physical stuff. It's material stuff. That's the other problem. People put they 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 love in factor with money and all these gifts and who's doing what, who's washing the dishes, who's paying for this and that. And that's not, that's not love. Love come from the inside. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to remember that in relationships, y'all a unit, y'all a body. There's a brain and a heart and a body. They do two different jobs, but they work just the same. Always people feel like they have to go pay, spend all this money to go out and do stuff. Man. Man, we went and got dinner and sat in the car, okay? Man. We sat, the kids were in bed. We just sat in the car and ate our food. And okay? was chilling. That's, that's just what we did for like an hour. Just sat there. Chilling. And I think that's... Way better than going out and Spend my spending a whole club. bunch of money doing. I mean, do, okay, yes, I'm I mean, doing I something you like. Yeah, but I feel like it's it's better one on one spending that alone time than being around a whole bunch. I mean, it's now, nice. Now, to now go don't out get me wrong. Time. You know what I'm saying? She turned her brother on to some new stuff. We went to a little movie theater. And, and I accidentally hit this little button, and the lady popped up on me like lurch and whatnot. <laughs> like I'm like, bruh, what's going on? You know, so it's good to have them fun times, but it's good to have them. We went to them, movie tavern with the nice chairs, those basic times. Yeah. yeah, like you know what I'm saying. For somebody like me, I'm used to watching bootlegs or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, or waiting for it to come out on DVD and cable. You know, or sitting in a regular movie theater. But it, it's good to have them, them nice little experiences, but them little basic ones. But it's that like don't an take everyday a whole, thing. You don't need to be no. doing all that extravagant no. stuff. Yeah. Psh. We will sit in the room with a pizza and watch movies. I would rather do that than go with some ice cream and just be saying. I definitely feel like we live in a what have you done for me lately society type of ordeal. Yes. Like you've always yeah. almost gotta like 
you're almost you're almost in competition with yourself because you almost got to outdo yourself yep. as far as like what yeah. you did last time because it's almost like never good enough or it's easily forgotten and it doesn't mean <laughs> as much as it meant to you or whatever whatnot. All right, guys, when we come back, we're going to get on the subject of interracial relationships. You're listening to WUDG Underground Columbus, where your favorite independent and unsigned artists live. UndergroundColumbus.com. The Underground Vault is back and better than ever. For your chance to win prizes, call 614-636-5601. When you call your favorite on-air personalities, they'll give you the chance to win, and once every week, one lucky listener will win what's in the Underground Vault. Listen all day, Monday through Friday, for your next chance to win. WUDG Underground Columbus, your best stop for independent and unsigned artists. Only on UndergroundColumbus.com. Graduation Day, the best day ever with a graduation banner from Peggy's Money Lemon and Embroidery. Graduation banners that stand out. You can order a graduation banner for $65 with no picture or $100 with a picture. It contains the congratulations, the name, the school name, and that class year. And included is a free t-shirt. Graduation banners that stand out. Peggy's Monogram and Embroidery, located at 1986 Cleveland Avenue. To place your order, call 614-297-0935. That's 614-297-0935. Peggy's Monogram and Embroidery, located at 1986 Cleveland Avenue. Peggy's monogramming and embroidery graduation banners that stand out. Get your graduation banner today. Before my life. 
life started this over, or so I was thinking. Faced with grown man decisions, taught me lots of patience. Knowing what I know, now I be locked in the state pen. So I'm exercising greatness, I work the late shift. And I'm always ready, I am not complacent. Lost a lot of homies, they faces started to shape shift. Way too caught up in the matrix, but I stayed in. I'm out here in the trenches with the soldiers quaking. Praying God let me make it, for he called a cadence. So every day I'm waking on the same issue. And I'ma hold it down for the ones I can't go. Techno. What they do that at? What they do that at? You don't learn today. You don't learn today. You don't learn today. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. I step in the club feeling big. The running wanna be wanna see ID. The DJ spinning like Paulie D. So we gon' rock this house from nine to three. No VIP. I'm with PIV. You know, people in Port Navon. You know, the ones that be hogging the fun. On the floor, off the wall. Grow some balls and jump off the bar. I'm going crazy, man, I lost them all. Swag looking like I robbed them all. Haters looking like they lost a jar. Yeah, you gon' learn today. Call me Von Pedro, Mr. Von Sway. If you got time, I ain't got all day. You remember the name when I say, hey, hey, you gon' learn today. Hey, you gon' learn today. Hey, you gon' learn today. Take this knowledge and give me that A. Hey, you gon' learn today. Hey, you gon' learn today. Hey, you gon' learn today. Take this hey, knowledge hey, and give me that A. Hey. You ain't gotta worry if you headed to class. Let your professor make sure you pass. You may learn fast, but let's make it last. I mean, I make it rain, but I'll make you splash. That's why I'll stay all day in the gym. Damn, just to hit you up on the dim. Damn, trying to link up in the PM. PM, I got six packs, wanna see them? See them? See them? See them? See them? See them? Let's get together and let's get together and do something unbelievable. Girl, stop it, drop it, what you doing, do it. Girl, I know you holding back, who you fooling, cool it. Girl, you know, you know you got it, like you know winds up Pilates. Yeah, your body's like a shoddy, let it bang, let it bang. I'ma need that body rocking, take shots of chocolate and vodka. Can't nobody stop us, we popping, taking off like helicopters. Looking like a roster, rocking a flock of imposters. You cannot sit and watch us, we gon' make you wanna jock us. We gon' make you wanna. Now as I'm going through the motions, I'ma give you that promotion. If you keep on Facebook poking, I'ma tag you like it's fashion. Like it's fashion If you keep on asking questions I'ma teach that ass a lesson Now your body's my investment Hey, you gon' learn today Hey, you gon' learn today Hey, you gon' learn today Take this knowledge and give me that A Hey, you gon' learn today Hey, you gon' learn today Hey, you gon' learn today Take this knowledge and give me that A Take this knowledge and give me that A all right guys that was you gonna learn today by vine you are here at fire fridays at the wdg underground columbus so we are talking about interracial relationships jungle fever all of us got it 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's catchy. You feel it's me? All of us. We all took a little taste of the bitter fruit, so to speak. But, okay, guys. I mean, I know that whenever we go out, we get the looks, especially when we have the kids. It gets all bad when we have the kids. Yeah. I'll be asking them. They be staring hard, too. And, and I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be racist or nothing. But it's specifically more so the white people. I mean, they be staring it's like. It's older. It's older. People. Like, like. But they just be staring like, you need a picture? You want autograph? Are you waiting on me to do a magic trick or something? I, like, I just don't understand why people are still stuck in the ways of like 500 years ago. 1950s. Yeah. yeah. I think interracial relationships are a beautiful thing. And like, they're actually coming like, they're sprouting out of everywhere. I mean, like, give it about 20 got... years. Everybody's going to be mixed. Yep. yep. We're all going to die off and then there's just going to be mixed babies everywhere. I just don't understand why people can't just let it go. You you love who you love. You're with who you're with. Like, it doesn't matter about the outside. Yeah. yeah. Love has no color. You know, love has no skin tone. That That's the problem with people. Like, if we were to sit and die and you needed some help, it wouldn't matter what color that person is. That heart is still the same. It's still going to work. Them kidneys are still the same. Them lungs are still the same. We people. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of color, and with these interracial relationships, honestly, sometimes it does get to be a strain. You know, when we when we go out as a family, sometimes people like to act ignorant just because I'm I'm with somebody who happens to be white or she with somebody who happens to be black, and it's just unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? Especially with it being 2016. You know, but you do have those parts of the city that you know don't care and don't really mind and you know you might get the oh your kids are so cute and oh I love their hair I've learned where those places are and those are the ones like I like to tend to go to because I got a big mouth and it's just there's a lot of people that like to say a lot of smart stuff and I just don't know how to watch my mouth oh, and when yeah. it comes to my kids and when it comes to my men well yeah I mean I nobody no should filter. be disrespecting you know, <laughs> your kids in your front of your face you know yeah. for any reason so yeah, if you I just think people need to grow up, move on from the past. It's all over with. People, you need to get over it. You know, get over yourself. Like get over, get off your high horse. Like mm-hmm. you know, what about you makes you so great that you feel like you can tell me what to do with my life, who I can be with, and and, and what my kids should look like. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want that rude awakening when you find out you have one of them mixed grandkids and the, the whole family tree is no longer green anymore. Hey, look, okay, Christmas about four years ago. Took my kid's dad with me, and my aunt popped up with the N-word when she shook his hand. Not even shook his hand, like walked past him. Man, okay, mind you, this is a a three-and-a-half-hour drive. Okay. Okay. I got right back in the car, turned right back around, and came back to Columbus. She called me three days later crying. You have to realize how we grew up, blah, blah. Okay, but it's not then anymore. Yeah. It's now. Yeah. A lot of stuff has changed. A lot. You don't just be popping that off like that. And what about the respect for you that she has? You exactly. Know? Like, that was totally disrespectful. I mean, you. me and her are closer now than before, but it's just, you just don't be like, they be like, oh, hi, aunt, whoever, and she, and her. Yeah. Like, you don't do that. Yes. Yeah. And that's just, I feel like there's a lot of people out there like that nowadays. There are, there are. I mean, my, my daughter's grandparents, you know, we've lived down the street from them for about five years, and I can't really ever remember a time where they've called me and be like, hey, let us get some extra time with, with you know, your daughter. You know, let us spend some time with her. You know, it's it's really weird how older the older generation yeah. acts. But then there, there is another side to it. Like, there is the, the good side to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, when, when I took... A to go meet all my family. It was like open arms. Dude, yeah, everybody is just. I've noticed that with the black side, I feel like black sides are more welcoming than white sides are to black people. Yeah, and it, it does seem to to be that way. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that's because of history. But you know, either way, it is it's 2016. That's dead, man. We don't need to be putting our kids through what we went through, what our parents went through, what our grandparents went through, even worse than that, when we being told every day by the media that this is dead, right? when it's not. All right, guys, we'll finish up this conversation when we get back from the break. 
WUDG Underground Columbus, where your favorite independent and unsigned artists live. You didn't know? NWA Midwest Championship Wrestling is looking for interns. Have you heard of Ric Flair? Well, this is the company that brought you Ric Flair before he went to the WWE. And we're looking for interns to work behind the scenes, hand in hand, with production, with audio, with video, and with podcasts and radio. Contact Damon Dury, the big dog, at 740-971-3968. Listen to Just Talk with Lady Shea Wednesdays from 6 to 8 p.m. right here on WUDG Underground Columbus. It all goes down in the underground. Hey guys, Scott Shelton here again, campus director for the Ohio Media School. Are you looking for a career in media, radio, television, sports broadcasting, or film and video production? You need to come check out the Ohio Media School's Columbus campus. You want a job that you will love and we have the training to get you started. Stop by the Ohio Media School's audio and video studios to check out the opportunities and internships that we have for our students and graduates. Call 614 6 555-5250 or visit beonair.com. That's beonair.com.
All right, guys. We are about to wrap up for the night. It's been fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for uh, being in here with me. Very <laughs> much so. <laughs> so, before I go, I have wrote down some birthdays, some anniversaries of passings. So today, Flo Rida is 36. Mark Anthony is 47. And, okay, you guys remember Boy Meets World? Yeah. Okay, the teacher? Mr. Feeney? Yeah. Mr. Nelson? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't remember him. John Engel. Yeah. Actor John Engel, he died today, back in 2012. Very sad. That's very sad. Very sad, very sad. But... Then, the number one song in hip-hop. I'm going to do the one for today. The one 10 years ago from today. And then one 20 years ago from today. Just look at how the music has changed. Man. Like, today's is the Rihanna, Needed Me. 10 years ago, Chingy, Pulling Me Back. 20 oh, that was like middle school. Oh. Hold on, wait, no look, hold on. Yeah. 20 that was years like ago. like high school, middle school, something like that. He Sweat. Twisted. 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 Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And the like younger that. generation don't know nothing about that keep sweat. Just look how music has just changed within the last 20 years. It's horrible. The, mo <laughs> the emotion has been lost. It's all about what can we do to make these dollars. It's like the relationship thing that we were it talking is. about. It is. It, as the music changed, the relationships you changed. You a lot of the music industry to... Uh, the relationship yes you know it, it's kind of sad because it's like oh let's be in love and let's make love and let's have love and now it's just like um, let's do the do if you don't yep. have enough money then you don't let's love knock me. some boots <laughs> that's, 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 that's all it is and that's, that's it all it is it's sad and people are content and happy about it that's the whole thing but then they get upset when things aren't being real well I, I get back to the roots get back to that that love your grandmama taught you about if you have one of them you know that that love your grandparents had, and you wonder how they stuck it out for all of them. Well, exactly. That's just like them two people earlier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I Get back be to like that. that. I just can't wait for being real to come back in style again. Exactly. Keep it 100. All right, guys. It is that time. Thank you for joining me for my first show of Fire Fridays. Thank you to H Pizzle burr, 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 burr. and Mr. Midwest. You know it. For being here with me, it's your girl A Breezy here on WUDG The Underground Columbus, where your favorite independent and unsigned artists live. You guys, have a good weekend. So much pain, death, and suffering in the world, and just what the future holds for America. Believe it or not, there are grave national troubles and calamity that are about to come upon the United States, and you need to understand as this is going to impact our life. There is a book you should read. This hard-hitting book lays bare the oncoming trouble that is to shortly come upon the United States and Britain. Just go to AmericaAndBritainYouWereWarned.com to order your copy. That is AmericaAndBritainYouWereWarned.com. You owe it to yourself and to your family to understand the signs of the times and what is about to happen. These are the most important questions that need answered. The book is titled America and Britain You Were Warned by Herbert W. Armstrong. Order your book today at AmericaAndBritainYouWereWarned.com or go to Amazon Books and write in the title of the book and it will be available. America and Britain You Were Warned.com. Make that graduation day the best day ever with a graduation banner from Pippi's Mom's Lemon and Embroidery. Graduation banners that stand out. You can order a graduation banner for $65 with no picture or $100 with a picture. It contains the congratulations, the name, the school name, and that class year. And included is a free t-shirt. Graduation banners that stand out. Peggy's monogram and embroidery located at 1986 Cleveland Avenue. To place your order, call 614-297-0935. That's 614-297-0935. Peggy's monogram and embroidery located at 1986 Cleveland Avenue. Biggest monogramming and embroidery graduation banners that stand out. Get your graduation banner today. Nasty Sports Bar in Reynoldsburg is under new management. Located at 6150 East Main Street, the home for...